Uh, good morning. Whoa, my hair looks crazy. I had no idea. Check it out. Beachfront property. There's the moon. Still out. Good morning, ducks. Quack, quack. All right, I am all geared up, ready to go, and today I'm really excited. I have a special guest coming with me. It's Mira. What's up, buddy? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it, guys. Yeah. So where are we off to today? Do you know? I think we're trying to. Well, we're going to the Pacific Coast today. Nice. Hoping to get to El Datil, which is a long day on the Baja. Yeah. But uh, we'll see where we get. Yeah. Supposedly, we're going to be on an ancient lake bed it's gonna be wide open the wind's gonna be at our tail it's gonna blow us all the way there no crashies no whammies no flatties oh, yeah. you, you know <laughs> i forgot that? about that, you forgot about that? <laughs> i'm kind of annoying to travel with but uh, you'll get used to it <laughs> lead the way mira which way are we supposed to go this is putting a really big smile on my face i've ridden bikes with a lot of people, but I've never ridden with a dog. This is, my, this is gonna be fun. Those dogs aren't as friendly as Mira. <laughs> you. you are such a good girl. I'm so glad we're traveling together today. You are so sweet. So the Baja Divide doesn't travel on paved roads very often. But I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this one because there's no traffic at all. I think about one or two cars have passed us. I feel like I'm back in Cuba. So nice, nice, tranquil Sunday morning with John and Mira and a couple cows over here. We are really in the middle of nowhere. There's not much going on, but I wanna take you inside this tienda and show you around. It's pretty impressive the stock they have for being so far out here. They have a whole freezer full of drinks. They've got your forks and knives, which is awesome. The whole rack of flip flops and uh, off road crocs here. They got the Wadachi style here. They even they have dog food. So that's good for Mira. All the cleaning equipment will go over here. Look at all these cookies and all this good stuff. They got the, the cereal, Hershey Kisses. And I would say most tiendas are like this. They're really well stocked and they take pride in keeping them nice. Look, at they even have toys. Last minute birthday presents, they got you covered. Got your double decker airplane. Of course, there's beans and stuff like that. They also have some local fare here. Here's a bag of, of dates. That'll keep you regular. I love Mexican candies. Look at these, the paletas. Ooh, they have Snickers too. Look at that hill. All right, Mira, we're going up. Time to do your part. <laughs> you made it to the top. Yay, look at that. You are my new favorite. <laughs> Watching John and Mira kind of makes me want to be a dog packer. I think it looks pretty fun. Nice to have a little companion with you. Love Cycles Part 2 with a doggy. What do you think? <laughs> there she goes passing me. <laughs> And that's when it turns to dirt. Today's been a really nice surprise so far, like 25 miles on a fast paved road. But that all ends right here. There's the line right there. It turns into dirt. It looks hard packed though, so it doesn't look too bad. But we're heading toward the coast, Laguna San Ignacio, famous for whale watching. We're not gonna do that, but that's where we're headed. <laughs> Hey, Mira, did you find some water to play in? There you go, 
get it. Did you get it? This is like salt foam. Mmm. Ooh, that's super salty. Mira decided that this is a good place to eat lunch, right Mira? Under these trees? You're such a good dog. Every tree in Baja, every plant is dangerous. There's a spine, so you have to watch out where you sit or where you ride, because you might get one of these in your booty, which is never a good thing. Let's do a little Baja bean cheers. Cheers, cheers buddy. Hey, do you want burritos? Do you eat burritos? You look like you eat burritos. Stick. He wants a stick. Oh, you want the stick, don't you? Nice catch. We've ridden like 35 miles already. We're cruising. The terrain has been very easy compared to most Baja terrain, but still, we're moving. This little fishing village is way out here, man. I can't imagine living this far away from the world, but I imagine it has its pluses and minuses, right? You don't have to deal with the nonsense of the world. surface out here on these old lake beds and the wind is at our back we are cruising if we put up a sail we'd go like 50 miles an hour how you doing Mira Woo -hoo. the goal out here is to really avoid the wet spots you hit one of those spots BAM you're hitting mud and you're stopping dead in your tracks so it's kind of like a game you just zigzag all over the place making sure you avoid that right there. Oh boy, we're gonna hit it. Oh shit, sorry. We're gonna just get... Oh. Ooh, hey buddy. Hello, oh, she goes straight for a stick. What you didn't see is I'm riding along here and I hit this like quicksand, so slippery, and I just hit the deck. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Wow, it is so slippery. <laughs> Look at that. Baja one, Ryan zero. There's my bike. Skating, ice skating, ice skating. Ice. Hey bud, I'm okay. Don't you worry about me, I'm okay. Appreciate it, I appreciate you taking good care of me, bud, yeah. She's a cattle dog. Good job. You did a good job hurting those little cows. We're in an area now, these, these poles, and from far away we had no idea what they were, but they hold up big nests for birds, and John thinks they're, they're ospreys. We have gone 65 miles. How many kilometers is that? For all you Canadians and other people around the world, how many kilometers? Uh, 106. Mm, 106 sounds better than 65. Anyway, we're going another five miles to a little town called El Tatil. And it's uh, going to be good to be done. This has been a long day. This might be some of the dreamiest bike riding I've had in a long time. The surface is just super smooth. The tires are singing. They're so happy. The sun is low on the horizon. It's nice and cool. It's beautiful. You can smell the ocean. A little bit of salt in the air. Tranquilito. Hola, ¿cómo están? Son amigables. Ya comieron. Ya comieron. Ah, bueno. 
we started asking around if there's a restaurant and this woman's like, yeah, you can come over, I'll make you dinner. So here we are, pretty exciting. John, we just rode 71 miles. Nice. Good job, my man. How was your day on the trail? You're so cute. You did such a good job chasing those cows earlier today. You <laughs> did such a good job. Oh, this is kind of a fun way to end the day in a nice little fishing village. This dog right here scares me. Little pit bull with scars all over its face. <laughs> you're trouble, bud. I know you're trouble. Look at that service. That was so fast. Lentejos. Lentejos son. Estoy muy feliz, amigo. Gracias por todo. Now it's our turn to eat, buddy. <laughs> this is so good. It is so good. I am very happy. Gracias, amigos. Nos vemos. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go find a spot to camp because the sun is going down and I'm cold. Yeah, I like your stick, bud. That's a good one, lead the way. Go, Mira, go. We are being treated to a beautiful sunset. I don't know if you can see it, but it is very, very nice. It is a Sunday evening. Our bellies are full of yummy food, healthy food. And we had a nice long day on the bikes. 